fall weather is upon us we've had a very short sailing season this year between the refit and COVID-19 we've lost most of this summer sailing season our annual cottage reunion gave us some much needed time with the family and some time on the water despite the challenges this year we have a lot to be thankful for we all made it through another year, healthy and happy. Not everyone is so fortunate. In 2017, in preparation for our cruise to the Bahamas, Debbie and I decided to sell our little orange sailboat. It had served us well, but we didn't want to store it while we were gone. The first person to answer our ad was an energetic retiree with a dream to learn to sail. He kindly lent us the boat for the last couple of reunions we attended. Every year we agreed to get out together for a sail, but that day just never came. On June 7th, we got a message from his wife saying he had passed away suddenly, his dream of sailing unfulfilled. To have a dream can be a powerful thing. Often the path to achieve it can be difficult. Dreams are meant to be chased. They require profound action because they are longings of the soul. Dreams call us to be brave, to be persistent, to move beyond ourselves. When we are young, we're filled with dreams and the possibility time provides. But as we age, our time grows shorter and our dreams more urgent. Because all too often, later becomes never.
Yeah, well, there was a lot of adversity that we uh, kind of came to, and, uh, you know, Paul started out with his boat that he wasn't sure was going to actually make it here <laughs> due to, uh, you know, excessive amounts of uh, pine gum and loose in the stays and scabby and, and whatnot. Scabbiest boat we ever saw. Yep. Uh, but uh, we uh, worked together as a, as a team, and uh, your skill overcame all that. Out there and worked together. We switched up halfway. We uh, and some aggressive maneuvers. Some aggressive out on the maneuvers. Of course. Right. Yeah. Help <laughs> me out there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The windiest duo award. Vera reunion regatta. Fastest team. If uh, now that I have, I have <laughs> one here that says. Most supportive land lover, and I do think the man with the electronic devices <laughs> earns it. Hands down. Oh. Oh. Thank you. And, uh, see you again next year. Yeah, I'll bring this Good back. Care of it. Yeah. The drone footage. Yeah, yeah. This is for the boat that came in the slowest. Oh, Chris, as if it was up. still tied to the dock, <laughs> and you, hands down, won this. Together with uh, Stephen Ward, Lord all the way from Barry, we earned it. <laughs> well well Congratulations, guys. That has a lot of dust from my house on, on that. <laughs> well, you want, you want, yeah. I had it there at my house for a couple so years. So, we got to say a few words here now. Okay. This is Steve's first year, so maybe Steve should speak for the team. Well, I thought we had him early. I mean, we had a good lead. We tacked a bunch of times, and I thought we were, you know, out in front. I think it was uh, a couple things. Our weight maybe had something to do with it. I'm going to try and I'm going to try and cut a few pounds for next year. But <laughs> we're going we're to practice, and we're going to we're going to train. We're going to come out next year. And we're going to get them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm with you. There we go. <laughs> Thank you.